All right, today's video is not a tech video per se, but if you care about YouTube ethics and what you're being told as a viewer, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Zach Talks Tech, where it's about the community, engagement, and conversation we're having here about the tech that you love. So a few weeks ago, my good friend Travis MCP, and I'll leave a link for his channel right here, and the video I'm talking about right down below, he brought out a video about being a tech YouTuber or being a tech creator or tech analyst here on YouTube and about the ethics involved and some of the choices that we have to make in order to be transparent and be truthful with you as the viewer. I then got involved in the comments section. I basically proposed this question right here and basically asked him, you know, don't you think it's okay to be compensated for, you know, turning on the lights, uh, the, the camera, the lens, everything like that. And he came back with no, because money compromises possibly integrity and your truthfulness and your, your, your ethics here on YouTube. That got me basically into a big conversation with some other uh, bigger YouTubers as well, including people such as Mr. Mobile, uh, Michael Fisher, my buddy Jason at Painfully Honest Tech, and a few other people as well. And what I found out very quickly is that my moral compass, as Travis calls it, was in a good direction, but I needed a course correction. That's what this video is about. I want you guys to know where I was and where the, I'm going in, in the direction of this channel. So when I started this channel about a year and a half ago, it was to showcase products and, and things that I sold or used to sell at my current employer. For those of you guys that don't know, I currently work for a cell phone accessories distributor here in Canada, and I take care of two very large territories. With that comes with a lot of travel and whatnot, and unfortunately, I can't always get out to all my clients. So what I would do is I would put together quick two, three, five minute videos of unboxing product, giving my opinion, showing what it looks like, maybe how it works, and then firing that off to my clients. As time went on, I realized, hey, I really enjoy this YouTube thing. I wanna get into it a little bit more. So I bought a cell phone, a few other things, and I just got more and more into it. In fact, now, if you look at my channel the last few months, I would say probably about 90% of the items that are on this channel aren't even things that I sell at my regular job. It's just the way that uh, things have kind of blown up and how uh, this whole tech niche thing has, has worked out for me. And I really, really enjoy it. But with that kind of comes the dark side of YouTube. I want to say dark side, kind of a gray side of YouTube that you as the audience don't always see. The side that's not always crystal clear to you. That is what this video is about. And for me to outline to you what you can expect from this channel and going forward. So with that being said, I wanna outline basically six items or six points that you guys can come to expect with me on this channel. And hopefully it clears up anything uh, that you don't quite know. And at the same time, you should be taking some of these points and applying them to other reviewers that you watch, not just in tech, but it can be in beauty, it can be any type of reviewing, anything that has to do with a brand or a product. You should be asking yourself some of the questions and things that I'm gonna be bringing up here. It'll help you out as a consumer and as somebody is watching so that you know exactly what's going on with these products and are you being marketed to or is this something genuine? Number one, I will never take money, compensation, a gift, whatever it is, money form, I will never take that in exchange for a showcase or a review of a product on this channel. I've only ever been asked once and I declined for obvious reasons. I believe that compensation or money in that kind of form for that kind of review or that kind of showcase on a channel such as mine uh, can somewhat compromise your integrity. That will never happen here. Number two, I will always disclose my relationship with the brand within the first 30 seconds. For example, I have a business relationship with my regular employer with Nomad right now. You guys will always know that, I've always disclosed that, but Nomad is also a brand that I personally use and love using all the time. Really like the people at Nomad genuinely. I've used their product even before I started working with them with my regular employer. Number three, you will always know within the first 30 seconds how I obtained a product. Did I buy it myself? Was it sent to me? Did I win it? I've always told you guys, I bought this product outright myself. It came from GearBest. I bought it from you know, wherever, or I may have reached out to the company and said, hey, send me your thing and I'll do a video on it. You will always know how I obtained that product. You'll know that right away within the first 30 seconds. If a brand pays me, again, you will know within the first 30 seconds and that then right there becomes a commercial. 
Too many times on YouTube do we see uh, something being showcased, a bunch of products or things like that, and the the creator on screen basically says, I wanna thank my friends at so-and-so for helping me out today. That's not proper uh, disclosure right there. They should be saying this is paid for by, or I was compensated by X brand. You will always know that right away. I will click off that sponsorship button and it will be very clear right there on the screen. At some point, this channel is going to grow and get to a size where I'm gonna to wanna to have sponsorship or basically I wanna be able to monetize this channel. There is of course Google AdSense through YouTube, but there are other ways to monetize and basically build up the Zach Talks tech brand. I have merch as you guys know. I'm gonna to wanna to be able to make deals with brands or things that make sense with you guys in order to properly monetize. That means there may be ad drops in the future, something at the beginning or the end or in the middle of a video. If that happens, I will make sure that they are products that I use and that you would use as well. Products that make sense. So you're not gonna see ad drops for things on this channel for things that I wouldn't use or maybe only use once. It has to make sense. It has to be something that I would use, something for my niche, something that my audience, that for you guys, that makes sense that you guys would enjoy using. So be on the lookout for that. And again, it'll be very clear what's going on and that they are a sponsor of that particular video or whatever's happening. Again. It'll be crystal clear to you guys. And again, it will always be a product or service that I would use. I'm not gonna show off anything on this channel that I wouldn't regularly use. Number six, every single product and, and service that you see on this channel is something that I have used or I have legitimate interest in. I am not going to bring products in or have things sent to me or be paid to show you guys stuff that I'm not interested in because you're at this channel you're watching this uh, content right now because you're interested in me and you're interested in what I do on this channel. For me to bring in something that I'm not interested in and to show you guys is baloney. It's it's it doesn't make sense and it's not going to happen. So again, everything that you see on this channel, ad drops, products, are things that I use, things that I'm interested in, and hopefully you're interested in as well that makes sense for the channel. So that's it guys, those are my six points. I'm actually gonna write them down in the description area here. I'm gonna be using this video and this referral right here as something that people can kind of go back to to find out more about this channel for the future and to kind of help myself guide and whatnot. And so that my moral compass, as Travis puts it, make sure that it's always you know aligned properly and that I'm being 110% with you guys, the audience. It's part of what hashtag team unfiltered is. You guys may have seen this hashtag hanging around uh, in YouTube comment areas, or the bottom of the videos, you may have seen it on Instagram, you may have seen it on Twitter. Hashtag team unfiltered is a group of creators, small creators like myself, that share the same ethics and integrity and want to be 110% unfiltered with you, tell you 100% what is going on and not leave things out and not word things in a way so that maybe people think another way. We want to let you know what's up, what is going on with a product, with a brand, with a sponsorship, with an ad drop, whatever it is. You will always know with Team Unfiltered. That's it guys, leave a comment down in the, uh, the comment section there. Let me know what you guys think. Did I leave anything out? Uh, hopefully this is what 110% clear for you guys. If you guys like the content here, please leave a thumbs up. Think about hitting that subscribe button as well, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Cheers.